Hello, here I am at the Giant International Fringe Theater Festival. Today I'm going to see a play and after we will see the interview and then another interview, maybe. If you can find that person. And today we'll be watching a play. Taking photographs or videotaping the shows is not allowed. Hello, today I'm here with my friend B and we are at the, well, I'm going to ask him yeah. questions today. Uh, Guy, what, yes. what is the Fringe Festival? The Fringe Festival is a festival of theater and, you know, all kinds of different things that you wouldn't see in a, at the Globe or at Regina Little Theater or at Summer Stage. It's one acts, little, little uh, productions, maybe under an hour. Uh, there's magic shows, there's puppet shows, all kinds of stuff like that. And dramas like we did today, like you saw this afternoon. What is the play about? Uh, the play is about reconciliation. Uh, it's a subject that's quite uh, uh, in, in, in vogue today with uh, what's happening with the First Nations people and so forth. In the play it's about uh, Gabriel Dumont, the, uh, the Métis leader in 1885. Gabriel? Gabriel? Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel, I'm happy to see you. Wanting the priest to finally admit that he betrayed his uh, military secrets to the army uh, at Batoche, uh, during the Battle of Batoche. So it's, it's a give and go between two old men who are trying to reconcile themselves. And Dumont, at the same time, wants to be buried in the Catholic cemetery at Batoche. We're old friends, Gabriel. Why must we always argue? I don't know, Pat. I've missed you. It's been nearly six months since you last came to visit me. Up there, Pat, on top of that hill, that's where I want to be buried when I die. How many years has the theater of Scatter been involved in the Fringe? Well, funny you should ask, because this is our second production. We opened, we had a show last year, uh, one of my shows called 9-11, about September 11, 2001. And this year we thought we'd do something a little different, a little more historical, another historical play. Uh, set uh, in the early 1900s. What inspired you to make this play? Well, I grew up uh, just a few kilometers from Batoche uh, and growing up in the 1950s and 60s I worked with a lot of uh, old uh, Métis uh, whose fathers or grandfathers had fought with uh, Riel and Gabriel Dumont in Batoche in 1885 and they would tell me stories and uh, I then did a lot of research and thought it would be a nice story to tell. I've also told you to forget about the past. Now Moira, because Riel is rotting in that cemetery in Saint Boniface because of you. Yes, he was hanged and often I think of him, but that is an old story. What is your favorite moment in the play? My, my favorite moment in the play is when the actors do their lines right. That's the favorite moment in my, as a director. But, jokes aside, <laughs> um, my favorite moment I think is, is when finally Gabriel decides that he will 
sort of forgive the church for what they've done, sort of, kind of, even though he doesn't do it exactly. And uh, the priest, the Père Moulin, finally admits that, yeah, the priest, after all this denial over 20 years, that they did what they did, betray the Michi. You are always right, my old friend. Did anyone help you make this play? Oh, a lot of people helped me over the years. This is a play that took me close to 15 years from the, the first draft I wrote as a radio drama, because I originally wrote it in French as a radio play. And then I adapted it for the stage in French. And then at, at, one at that time, I was a student uh, in playwriting at the University of Alberta, studying how to write better plays. And so I, <clears throat> at that time, got a chance to work with some very good playwrights who helped me along the way, made it better, and so forth. So yeah, a lot of people helped along the way there. How much money do you make from the play each year? <laughs> not, a, not a very much, not very much. Do you have a favorite moment in the play? Well, I think one of the f my favorite moments is uh, when, uh, it's more than once, but three or four times in the play, uh, Gabriel Dumont manages to catch the old priest in a sort of a lie or something like that and makes him squirm, makes him uncomfortable. We did tell General Middleton where you were, how many, we even gave him a layout of your defenses. As an actor, but also as a writer, that's what the kind of moments I was trying to create in the play. Just one small correction from the overall program for the festival. Gimi Show directed the play. I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> they're heavy. Yeah. Okay, those two go here. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to tell me about the Fringe? Well, I'd like to thank you for helping us uh, today and uh, also for promoting our little production on your vlog. Thank you for talking to the face Nike. Well, you're very welcome, Tommy. Is there anything else you would like to tell me today? Well, just that I hope that a lot of people are going to come and see the play either here at the Fringe because uh, uh, in English or if they want to uh, see it in French with English subtitles, we'll be probably producing the play in the fall at the French Theatre on, on Ninth Avenue North. So hopefully people will come and see the play and enjoy it too. Thank you for talking with me today. It was my pleasure. <laughs>